Hello friends, this video on cell part 20 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we will talk about the last uh, cell organelle that is vacuoles. Now vacuoles are also very specific to plant cells. I mean they are, however they are seen in animal cells also but they are, they have played more important role in a plant cell. So these are fluid filled membrane bound sacs. So they are quite big in size in plant cells and they are like huge vessels which is filled with the fluid and it is surrounded by a membrane. So this is how it looks like. So you see in plant cell the most prominent structure that you can see is a vacuole and this layer which or the membrane which surrounds the vacuole is called the tonoplast. So tonoplast is basically the membrane surrounding the vacuole. So you see the vacuole is so big that it has pushed the nucleus towards the periphery. So it has taken the, a lot of space. So let us see where are they located in animal cells. So in animal cells vacuoles are small in size and moreover not all animal cells have vacuoles. That is why whenever the term vacuole comes we relate it more to plant cells. Because in plant cells, first of all, they are very big in size and they are definitely present in plant cells. So in animal cells, these vacuoles are present. For example, here you can see a paramecium. So in paramecium, we have digestive vacuole, we have contractile vacuole. So digestive vacuole helps with the process of digestion. Similarly, if you look at amoeba, in amoeba, amoeba also we have this contractile vacuole which is present here. Now normally vacuoles are used for storage of food, like for example you also have food vacuole. Some vacuoles are used for the process of digestion. Some vacuoles are used for contraction purposes. So different vacuoles can have different purposes and in animals it is not necessarily present in all of them. But in plant cells, vacuoles are very important. So here you can see, this is so big. I mean, the most prominent organelle that you can see in a plant is a vacuole. So vacuoles are large sized in plants and there is a membrane which covers the vacuole and that is called tonoplast. So if we talk about the significance of vacuoles, in plant cells, they contain the cell sap and therefore provides rigidity to the cell. Now plant cells are like, they, they are more delicate. And in fact, they are more exposed to the changes in the environment. Because of that, we want to give more and more rigidity to the plant cells. For that purpose, there is an additional cell wall to give it additional rigidity. So these vacuoles also, provides rigidity to the cell because they are fit, they are not empty, they are filled with the fluid. They also help in storage of amino acids, sugars and proteins. So for storage purpose also these vacuoles help because they are quite big containers. Whereas in animal cells, they help in various things like they help in maintenance of water balance. Like it, it will expel out excess water. So that way it helps to maintain the right water balance. For example, in case of paramecium, we see so many different vacuoles are present. So that is their purpose. They help to maintain osmoregulation. They help to throw out waste materials from the body. They also help in ingestion of nutrients for intake of food. So for example, in amoeba, we have the food vacuole. So that helps in intake of food. So in animal cells, these vacuoles are present only in those animals where you do not have any other thing to take care of food intake or water balance maintenance. But for these animals like amoeba and paramecium, they need these vacuoles and that's why they, they are present there. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.